before we start. Happy New Year! Here's an example of a crunch base. Not a big surprise! I used a sub preset with white noise from Serum. I used bright white but you can use any noise sample, as long as its high frequencies are bright enough. I also linked both Serum inputs to a MIDI out port, so I can play both of them at the same time. On the mixer I made separate tracks for the sub, noise, crunch layer and everything. I removed the sub from the master and routed it to the crunch and sub track. I removed the noise from the master and routed it to the crunch track. On the sub track I added an ODT at 34% to make it louder. And a peak controller so I can link the noise level to the sub. On the crunch layer I added a lot of saturation, with the dynamics at 0%, and the spread at 2% to make it a bit wider. You can try different distortion modes but make sure it sounds very distorted and crunchy. I added an OTT at 22% and turned the low frequencies down. I cut the low frequencies so they don't clash with the dry sub, and boosted the high frequencies in the sides to make them wider. And on the master layer I added a little bit of saturation. Because this method can be very tedious and is the only way I know to make a crunch bass. I made a crunch track, so it'll be faster and easier for you guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful or fun. I'll see you guys later.